Hello guys, today in this video I would like to demonstrate you how to export the item property data from AutoCAD to Express. So I've got some set of data in my work project in the AutoCAD Lite version. And before I attempt to export them, let me show you the properties, how they look like. So after the selection one of the data, which are UPRN for United Kingdom, I can investigate which type of properties I will need for for this type. So the table is quite robust, but I won't need all of them. I just will need several of them. So they will be propped already here. So we can see already the type of this property and its value. But for better imagination, I can close it down and go to the block section where I can edit attributes. So this is the place where I can edit the attributes and I can obviously have a better onlook onto them, better insight, where I can see that these attributes are represented by tag. In other words, this is the attribute name and its value, which is already here. So this is the five thing for the exporting data to, to the format, which will be discussed later. The primary command, which will be used for our export purpose is HTTX, which must be typed in the command value. Afterwards, we will have this window open, which states about attribute extraction options from AutoCAD Lite. Basically, the three types of file format can be generated from there. It can be comma delimited file, page delimited file, or the exact format extract file. For our Excel purposes, we will select the very first option, which will prepare our text file straight for the CSV conversion, as AutoCAD Lite doesn't have direct option to export our data to Excel. Another option is selecting object, template file and output file. So let me select some object already here. Template file, basically this is some, some empty Excel, sorry, em empty text file put here. Is nothing really there but if I for example remove this file you can see that the option is not possible we need to have any template file defined and this template file will be based on the properties I've sent you previously so bear with me a second so there are some nice websites from where we can pick up the mechanism of creation the AutoCAD Lite extraction template. The basic stuff is presented here, but it's too general, so it's not so easy to understand at first time. So it's better to take a look on other websites which are based on some examples. And let me back to my example which I will compare from my properties from AutoCAD and you will see what's going on. But before I do this, I just need to tell you, I just need to flag you up the rights which are doing the creation of this template. N means numeric value, C means character, character, www means three digit numbers and DDD means three digit numbers representing the decimal phases like you can see here. So we've got block, name, C, digit number and three zeros means that there is no decimal places beyond. So let me back to my example. So in front of your eyes you have the attributes panel, attributes editor presented previously and my current ex uh, template for the data extraction, which is on your left. And let's put the previous theory into the practice. As you can see, the first line re represents the block name, which is included by 10 characters. C means character. 10 means that the total field of the characters is 10. And three zeros mean that there is no decimals afterwards. So the block name, if you start counting the number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's exactly 10 characters. So 
basically you can set the length of the character longer than 10 and it will be still fine however if you will do it for the smaller number then eventually your block name will be cut will be trimmed so it works at the same basis as saving file as the shape file where the name of the columns are always cut down to just 10 characters so the analogy is the same uprn is the numeric value this time and we've got exactly 12 characters no decimals beyond like you see here if you count these numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 you've got exactly 12 digits here so there's nothing to explain more beyond it now we are going to the admin area town and street street so all these tags are bounded in the characters they can be found here admin area is already here town is here and street is here so i've put up to 30 characters so the field can be longer as we are dealing with the names maybe you also notice that the order is different than in the attribute editor that's fine the template file is also the place where you can define the order of this data exported so you don't need to worry about the initial order here you can make your own order here another one name number just three digits because we don't we won't have street number bigger than 999 and uh, postcode which corresponds to the uk postcode in it counts uh, 10 sorry it counts nine characters no decimals nine characters because we've got effectively eight characters and one space so we've got one two three four five six seven eight so one two three four five six seven eight nine can be here sometimes um, UK postcode come with another uh, letter here so we can keep this space up to nine characters in vast majority UK postcode postcode includes uh, eight characters so I think it's fair enough to to know how this uh, template extraction file uh, works and this is the moment where we can go with this template and extract our data so let me hit the PTTX command again and simply find the feature. So selecting object as the first, we've got 120 objects selected. Out of file can be data and template file. It will be our uh, template extraction file discussed previously. Output file can be data, is not a problem. Now is nothing beyond clicking OK. If the file already exists, you can replace. If no, let me save it under another name. Hit OK. And as you can see, you might have noticed that this is the information about the number of files extracted. So we've got roughly 120 records in extra file, which means that our extraction has been successful. If you would have, for example, zero, then it means that something is wrong with our template and needs to be altered. So I think it's now fine. We can open our extraction file. So in our folder, we've got the data exported, and this is all what AutoCAD Lite can do for us. Unfortunately, we cannot export this data straight to Excel, but we have uh, comma delimited values already in the text file, which means that any conversion towards CSV will be fairly successful. So let me find the option for you, which could be easily doable. So here's the right time for going to the blank Excel document where we can run run the power query tool which can be found under the data from the main toolbar and selecting get data option from here and now another option will be from text and csv so this is the option considered in our purpose and our data is to be found here this is the data to text file which has been exported from autocad Lite. so let me import this file and Power Query is already connecting. We've got the preview window here, where we show how our data looks like right now. So these are all the columns considered for our purpose. And now we've got the option. We can load this data to Excel, which will 
throw the ready table but we don't want that because we have col unnamed column and we have also the quotes which in which all the characters string string has been bound so let's hit the transform data for now which opens in the separate window and let me call the columns here so it will be lock so the name of these columns don't need to be exactly the same as we see in AutoCAD properties but you can make these names the same it's up to you so our columns have been already defined and the last step is getting rid of these quotes so we can select use the console and mouse click select more than one column and the selected column is highlighted red now do the right click on any of them and select replace values wait a minute until the box is opened in the replace values just find the apostrophe and replace with nothing hit ok and your data is already sanitized so data is ready to go you can now close and load and the power query data will be executed and this is the data you've received from AutoCAD this is the process which allows you to extract data properties from AutoCAD Lite to, to Excel now you can use the save as button and save this file as the CSV file as you can see Excel data from AutoCAD Lite to Excel is not a big deal however it requires some small workarounds as the application doesn't provide the direct export to the Excel itself. But I hope that this video will help you to cope with this problem and you will be able to do it relatively quickly in the future. Thank you for your attention.